Welcome back, guys, to this new Dream Garage build series. Um, today, we're going to talk about painting. We're going to do some painting and I'll get this AC installed into the garage. I'm not, I'm going to be honest, I ain't installing that AC. I'm going to hire somebody for that. But <laughs> we're going to do the painting. All right, so let's get into it. Let's jump right into it and start talking about the paint scheme in here and what it's going to look like. As you can see, right now I have this area painted up top pretty much black. I um, do got to repaint this, but I had the concept of doing black on this front wall, black on the ceiling, and then black on this back wall. On the sides, I was going to do harbor gray all the way down, obviously. But now I'm thinking of changing my mind to doing uh, everything all black. So black ceiling, roof sides, everything. Black aesthetics, you know. <laughs> but the main reason I wanted to do that is I think it's going to look good with the, I have, the flooring that I have going in here is going to be very light. Uh, pair that with the lights that's going on at the top and the lights that's going to go on the side here. I think that um, it'll look really nice. And what I want to do also to the staircase, um, I think it will complement the all black aesthetics that's going to be up in here. So, yeah, we're just going to paint this thing, keep it simple, painting everything all black. I think I even might paint uh, the back of the garage black as well. So it just blends in when if I'm looking back at the garage from this way. Um, but yeah, so let's get into it. I'm going to finish up painting this side of the wall. I'll do, I got to do some patch holes that, you know, from the old garage door that was there. There's like a couple holes in the middle. Do some patchwork there, but also up here too, patchwork for the old railing from the garage was go went. Uh, we're good to go. Oh, I also had to put a stopper at the end of this garage. So just in case anything fails on the garage door that it doesn't back off and fall off of those rails and onto a car or something like that. So I do need to install two little bolts on each side. So kind of act as stoppers. Stopper that I was explaining about, I decided to input a bolt at the end of the rack to act as a security measure due to if there was any malfunction with the garage door opener. Uh, so if, worst case scenario, if it didn't stop, it would have a um, safety measure at the end and save a vehicle underneath. This side's painted, and I also got this side as well painted. Now, guess what? This got installed. They came over. My AC unit. Oh, look at that. Garage finally has AC. So stoked about this. Uh, I went with the Sinville um, edition. 
it's a 12,000 BTU for this garage since um, it's not that big, right? It'll cool this thing down pretty good. I'll go outside and show you all the unit. But the reason why I went with this one is that I compare it with my Alexa. Um, I can turn it I, with my phone and everything. I can turn it on and off do that. I can turn it on in the morning before I come in the garage to get working or whatever to get the ideal temperature. So um, pretty good unit. I got it on sale during Black Friday. So um, I think it was like a thousand or something um, during Black Friday. And uh, unit pretty cool. Side and show you the unit installed. They knocked it out like in like two, maybe two to three hours. So a lot quicker than what, because I plan on doing it myself. But I already know it's gonna take me a lot longer than <laughs> than twelve hours or whatever. Not twelve hours. Probably take me like twelve hours. But it was gonna take me more than two or three hours. So um, let me show you outside of the unit. But yeah, this is what the painting so far. I got to paint this side right now. That's what I'm about to do. I'm going to show you what I'm going to use because I am using a gun spray. Um, and I'm going to show you the paint that I'm actually using. That's, I don't have to thin it or anything because it's used for a sprayless, uh, not sprayless, but an airless spray gun. Um, so I'll show you that. Uh, but hopefully today I can finish up this wall and maybe the ceiling. But I got to take out all this stuff right here out of the garage to do the ceiling. Um, and then also what I want to do to this staircase, I have to remove all this um, because I do want to paint. It's going to be kind of hard to paint in this section area just because the staircase is in the way. But also, I'm getting rid of this anyway, but we'll talk about that in a second. Here, right? And this is the unit sitting out here. I have it. I wanted it off the ground, so I opted for this bracket that sits above the ground. Uh, it's real quiet. It's on now. You can barely hear it. Got some breaker box, right? Tied it there. They tried to tie it into this little uh, socket right here, but it kept them popping a few, so they just ran it straight into there. Just kept it easy. But yeah, that's it right there. Looks pretty good. back wall is painted it's drying up right now i am going to the door and the frame and everything's going to be black too so i didn't really bother covering it up i'm going to remove the door and paint it get a little better coverage and then probably go over and hand paint the trim and everything so i need to paint in this area oh God, i love that gun Swear, let me show y'all the paint that I'm using. Color that I'm using is Tricon Black, Black by uh, Sean Williams. Um, but I use this paint right here. It's the signature interior paint and prime. But the reason why I like it so much is because, let me show you. Oh, damn, the paint covered it. <laughs> but it's for an air, airless spray gun. So you don't have to do any thinning or anything like that to the paint. So you can just pour it in there and it's ready to go. So that's pretty sick. But now we just got to tackle the ceiling. And I'm not looking forward to that because I have to remove everything that's in the garage. All these boxes. I just got to go outside. I'll probably have to do that tomorrow, to be honest with you. And then the, very la uh, then the other two things I got to paint is the, the back of the garage door. And obviously the concrete, I am going to put it like a trim piece right here to finish that off. I'll let y'all see that later. I got to paint that as well. So there's a lot of things we got to do and paint the staircase. Oh, since I got, got y'all here, let's talk about the staircase. This is no longer going to be a staircase. 
I am going to turn this into pretty much a balcony because I need to utilize all the space I can in my garage. So that staircase that comes down right there is all going to get removed. And um, I'm going to use the inside of, inside of the staircase, cover it all up. I'm going to do it all nice. It's going to be storing some of my vinyl. Um, but then this is just pretty much going to be a balcony. I won't be, I'll just be able to walk out and look down and everything, but we won't be able to walk down. I'm going to cover it off. I'm also getting rid of the wood vertical. I don't know what you call those little metal thing, things in the metal. And uh, I'm putting some cabling across it. Just to give it a little more aesthetics appealing. So it's going to be all black with that going across in the middle of it. And uh, yeah, obviously all the hardware in here is going to go black. All the sockets, the switches. And then um, what else? I'm probably going to get like an eyelet <clears throat> and screw it into there. And then when I need to use it, I can just grab a hook and then grab it and pull it down. So having this string in the middle kind of looks nasty. Well, yeah, just got the ceiling. That's like the biggest main major thing that we got to paint. And then everything else is pretty, pretty easy to paint, uh, especially that concrete. Debating about either putting like a sealer or something on here, but I just did a little test. Like there's not even like a, that deep up a spray, but looks like I can just spray over it and it should be good. I'm just going to leave it like that. And I think it should be good. Just jump into the next day of me moving all this damn stuff out of the garage and painting the ceiling. Let's get it. Let's go. <laughs> Painted up. Look at that aesthetics, bro. <laughs> Everything is black right now. The ceiling's black. That's black. Now I do have to do some touch-up work on all of the walls, even the ceiling, because like right here in the middle, it's kind of some spots is not as deep as one. So I'm probably gonna go do another coat on top of the, on the ceiling and the walls and everything. Just come back uh, after we're done moving kind of like everything out of here and I can get a little more room. Like I said, a lot of lighting is going to go in here. Pretty much this whole ceiling part is going to be all lighting and I'm going to have lighting on the side, on the right, on this side. So, um, 
we'll see how it goes. And then, but yeah, it came out pretty good. There's a lot of areas I need to touch up, like this little area. You can tell there's some areas up here. I need to re-sand that down. I have no idea what that is. Like, I truly do not know what that is. So I'm going to take a sander to that, sand that down. I need to paint this side because it was really hard to get over here. I think just bottom line, I need to get like a light in here when I paint because I have to shut the garage door and uh, it limits me lighting. So I can't really see anything in here. So it was not helping, but it's getting there, you know, it's a work in progress. So the next step, we're going to tackle this staircase slash balcony that I'm going to transform into a balcony, I guess you would say. Uh, we're going to start tearing it, tearing down, tearing it down because I still got to paint the concrete around the... The walls, I got to paint that as well, and then underneath the staircase as well. So I might as well, before I paint the concrete, I got to remove these stairs uh, because the stairs kind of go into that concrete, and I want to grind that down so uh, it'd be a lot smoother and just look aesthetically look a little pleasing to the eye. So we'll just jump into that. It's the next step, right? So I hope you like the color choice. Also, my AC unit. Boom. Look at that Johnny right there. Keeping this place nice and cool already. Um, so we're going to go ahead and jump into the next phase, which is going to be the staircase. So thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and let's jump into the next step. Right? Let's go.